Hello, I'm Susan Wagner, Special Projects Director for Country Sampler. In our April-May issue, one of the decorated rooms showed a lamp made out of an old coffee grinder. So today, I'm here with my friend and decorating expert, Christy Crafton, and she's going to show us how you can create a lamp from a simple object. The lamp assemblies come as full kits, or you can buy them in parts. So Christy, tell me a little bit about the assemblies and the different parts that are in them. Okay, we've got two kits here that come with almost everything that you need. This one here comes with a harp assembly. It's also got the socket up here and electrical cord with a plug and a little connector in there. So before you go further than that, you need to consider the part that's missing and that is the um, threaded pipe. And this will stabilize your electrical wiring in the lamp. So before you shop, what you need to do is measure your base along with your shade and determine how high you want the lampshade to be off the mm -hmm. top of the base. You can see this one is almost perfect. It allows um, a little bit, like a quarter of an inch at the top for the socket to screw on, and then you're also gonna need a quarter inch at the bottom. So you may have to cut something like this that's long to adjust. The other option would be to buy pieces that are shorter and in a variety of sizes, and you can actually screw them together well, this is a coupler here, and so if you need a longer pipe, you can adjust and by okay. screwing those two pieces together and get it to fit to your lamp. Christy, what are we going to make our lamp out of? Well, we went shopping and we found this giant can, party-sized fruit can, and a terracotta saucer. And the terracotta saucer is going to act like our base for the fruit can. And this allows room underneath for the uh, washer and nut to be threaded on or tightened onto the mm -hmm. threaded pipe, and then also room for the cord to come out the side and be hidden. So what's the first step? We need to prepare our two pieces so they'll accept the electrical cord in the socket. We've got our fruit can here, but of course we want the label to be upright. So we're going to cut the bottom of the can open. Mm -hmm. I would suggest use, don't use an electric can opener, but use a traditional old fashioned one. So after you've got your bottom cut out and you wash out the can, give everybody oranges to yes. eat for a week. Oranges forever. <laughs> yes. Then you're going to turn this over and, you know, use a tape measure and you're going to mark the center, going widest spot to widest spot, both directions, and just put a mark there. And as you're drilling, I, I think it's always a good idea to use a smaller bit first to pre-drill a hole, a pilot hole, and then follow up with a bigger bit. Then, on the terracotta piece, this is a little softer, a little different material. I put tape here, and that should help as you're drilling to prevent the terracotta saucer from chipping or cracking, okay? And then the last tip is we're gonna drill a hole through the side here um, so that the cord can come out there and be hidden behind the, the body of the lamp. So now that our pieces are ready, we're ready to start assembling. So Christy, what happens now? Okay, you can see we have our large hole drilled here in the saucer and the same size here in the top of our can and we are going to start putting all the metal pieces together so that it will be able to hold the electrical socket. So here's the underside of the saucer and we're going to slide the, um, pipe, the pipe, pipe through there. And to protect it, because as you tight, start to tighten things, you can over tighten things. So this little rubber washer should help cushion that so it won't break break the terracotta if you get it too tight. And then a metal washer. And this is a little lock washer and that helps keep it as you're messing with it, you know, it can start to loosen it and that should help prevent it from you know getting loose. And then you just thread this on and tighten it up. You, again you want to leave about a you know a quarter of an inch. You don't want to get too deep because if you get it too far out, uh, your cord won't be able to bend easily and then you know it has to come out this hole over here. So you know just tighten it up a little bit and then as you come from the top, all this will be secured with another um, nut and washer from the after we get this base on. So we're gonna slide this over the pipe. Center it not working there. Not the washer. I'm going to slide the nut 
and it has to be, come all the way down. And then this piece goes on after that. That's the collar, and that will hide the washer and the nut. We'll stop right there. Now, uh, in the store, um, we mentioned that they have decorative neck pieces. Uh, you can also use these little couplers, and we're just going to screw those down side by side all the way until they fill up this whole pipe. So now you can see we have all the couplers on there, and we've left a little bit of the lamp pipe extending out so that we'll have room for the socket base to go on. We have the base of the lamp together, so now comes the wiring. So Christy, how do we do the wiring? The next step is to, um, let's send the wires through. And I've twisted the ends here together so they'll go through the bottom of the lamp a little bit easier. We're going to send, send the cord through this opening right here. And then we're sending it through the pipe here. And it's going to come all the way through the fruit can and come out the top of the pipe. Oh, there it goes. Right there. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to put on the base of the socket. And I'm going to slide that through. And there is a little set screw here. This works to, uh, once you get the socket screwed on here, it helps to hold it in place okay. so it's not wiggling around. So I've backed it out a little bit. And we're going to screw that on. All right, now, while we're working on it, we don't want the cord to fall back through the pipe. So we're going to tie what they call um, an underwriter's knot or an electrician's knot. So you bring the two ends around, and you're going to loop them. Um, one's going to go around the front, come through that loop, and the other one's going to come around the back and go through that loop. And you just want to draw it up tight, and you want to have enough of this length so you can bring it up the side of the actual electric. So the other thing you need to watch for is these have a ribbed side. Every cord has that. There's going to be a rib on one side and that's going to be your neutral wire. Neutral wire. And then the other one is going to be your hot wire. Okay. And in this kit you are putting the neutral wire around the silver screw and you want to put it so that your loop of your wire is actually facing the direction that you're going to turn, which is clockwise, to tighten it. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Catch that little hook around the stem of the screw. And then tighten it up. Now, this is the top of the socket, and you're going to put this over this. Bring it down into the bottom of the socket. Pushes down into place. Uh -huh. You can hear it snap in place there. Uh, the last thing would be once you're, you've got it stable, then tighten that little set screw. Okay, there's our shade. <gasps> Very <Yay>! nice! <laughs> Beautiful lamp. For more decorating ideas, be sure to see the April May issue of Country Sampler, available on newsstands now or by visiting countrysampler.com. Thanks, Chrissy, for joining us. It was a lot of fun. It was. I had a great time. So, let's go eat our mandarin oranges. All right. <laughs>